Let's begin with a review of male anatomy. It is often said that the brain is actually the primary sex organ because the hormonal processes that start in the brain direct both male and female fertility. For a man, hormonal signals are sent from the pituitary gland in his brain to the testicles inside his scrotum. Testicles. These male reproductive organs are located outside of the man's body so that sperm, which are very sensitive to heat, can be kept cooler than his normal body temperature. The testicles have a two-fold function. First, to produce sperm, and secondly, to secrete male sex hormones. The most commonly known male sex hormone is testosterone. Testosterone results in the growth of body hair, a change in voice, and development of body mass. Males have much larger muscle mass and body strength than women because they have 10 to 20 times the amount of testosterone than do women. Some men take steroids to jack up their testosterone and to build muscle mass. Thankfully, the FDA removed these from store shelves in 2005. Misuse of steroids can be dangerous for men and, as we'll see, for women as well. Healthy males will produce sperm continuously from puberty until they die. After sperm are produced in the testicles, they pass into the epididymis to mature. It takes each sperm about 70 days to form and mature. Approximately 40 to 50 million sperm are expelled through the vas deferens, or sperm duct, and the urethra during ejaculation as part of semen. It is important to note that it is not necessary physically to ejaculate at all. The body resorbs what is not expelled. The seminal vesicles add to the fluid portion of the semen. The urethra allows either the elimination of urine from the bladder or ejaculation of semen. During arousal, Cowper's glands produce a pre-ejaculatory fluid to balance the pH of the urethra. Present in this Cowper's fluid are viable sperm so that there is any contact between the penis and the vagina during the period of arousal, but before ejaculation, enough sperm may be transmitted to cause a pregnancy. This explains why withdrawal as a method of contraception is often ineffective. So the takeaway messages here are that after puberty, men are always fertile because of continuous sperm production and that any genital contact can lead to pregnancy due to pre-ejaculatory secretions.